Guys, so I kind of want to just talk a little bit. Don't mind the mess in the back. My room is just a complete mess. This whole week I've just been a slob. I've just been laying from one corner to the other corner watching YouTube videos, vlogs especially, and just trying to see if I can watch any movies because... Did you brush your teeth? I know. Yeah, but I'm going to head to bed now. Um... I want to start doing the thankful thing again because I stopped for a little bit. So I'm going to, yeah, talk about it. Um, today, I'm really thankful for... Um, <laughs> this is so bad when you, you have to think about it. Well, honestly, today I wasn't having a great day, so... But I still should be thankful regardless. So I think I should be thankful that... I'm able to um, afford to go to school because you don't go to. I do go to school because a lot of people, you know, aren't able to have the advantage to go. So I, I think that you know, definitely a blessing. And really thankful that. I can do whatever I want right now because I don't have a job yet and school's not, you know, up my butt. Um, it's really lenient right now, but this week I'm going to have to study because I have exams. But so far it's been, you know, really easy going. So that's why I am really thankful for that because that could have been way more stressful. But I've just been coming home doing absolutely nothing and just enjoying myself doing whatever I want basically. So those are the things I'm thankful for, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Yes, I'm watching a scary movie by myself, and this is the first time ever without somebody watching it with me, so wish me luck. Hey guys, so it's the end of the night again, and hold on, let me clean this really quickly. Much better. And instead of going to sleep, I'm really tired, even though I took a nap. I'm going to attempt to study because I have a big, t not a big test, but I have a test tomorrow and I know nothing. Let me use the correct term. I don't know anything on the test, so yeah, I have to study. But it's so boring and I don't know. I'm like so lazy right now because I'm tired and yeah, I want to sleep. But it's either I go to sleep really late today or I wake up early tomorrow. And I think I'm going to go towards the waking up early tomorrow. So, one, because I'm tired. I want to sleep. I sleep better at night. I don't want to sleep late. And two, I think that if I study in the morning, even though it's going to be really hard for me to wake up, I think that all the information will be fresh in my brain. So, I think that's good. And also, it's always better to wake up earlier because, I don't know, I, I, I think it's better. Yeah. But, um, I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about something about my school life right now. And it's not going too well, to be honest. Okay, so, um, honestly, you have to stay humble because I wasn't humble about this. That's why I feel like it's, like, karma in a way, but not really karma because I didn't do anything bad, but... You know what I mean. So, I was supposed to graduate, or I'm supposed to graduate, not I was. I'm supposed to graduate this June or spring of the semester because this is my second year. And, um, yeah, I'm supposed to be graduating. So, a lot of my friends that transferred to my school or is already at my school which is a community college so after two years you're you're allowed to graduate um but obviously you could leave before two years or you could leave after two years depending on your timing depending on how much credit you have but the time to graduate is two years or after two years so or you could even i think you could do before two i'm not sure but yeah ideally it's two years so I was bragging to my mom because, well, I wasn't like bragging, I was kind of boasting about 
myself because I was really excited that I took a lot of classes this semester because I wanted to get out of here as soon as possible while my friends took it easy they took like three classes while I took like six and eight so you know I really went in but it turns out I'm gonna graduate the same time as they are while they were you know chilling and I was working my butt off and we're still going to graduate at the same time. So that's why it's like you really have to humble yourself because I was, you know, just a couple of months ago bragging to mom about that, you know, that I'm graduating and I'm going to be on my way. <laughs> but now look at me, like, that's what happens. That's really what happens. Obviously, I'm really, really upset about it because now I have to stay for another whole entire semester which is like four months for no reason well not no more reason but for one class because i'm missing it and um i didn't know i was supposed to take this class it's my fault obviously it's not i'm not blaming anybody it's my fault that i didn't check enough or i didn't really speak to an advisor because i thought i got it under control which i don't obviously so that's what happens you really have to be on track, I mean, on top of your things. You really have to speak to somebody about it because this is school. Like, this is important. This is about your future. So you have to speak to somebody about it because you don't have it under control. You. This is, yeah, like, this is, like, basically a message to myself right now. But, yeah, I have to stay for a class, for only one class. For the entire semester, for that four months, I'm going to stay in that school for just one class, guys. Like, do you know how upsetting that is to me? <sighs> oh my god, that sucks so bad. It sucks so bad. And it's so late now into the semester, so I try to talk to a lot of advisors, finally. But it was already too late because we're already five weeks in, and obviously they can't do anything about it. So my best bet would be to stay. And I'm like, oh my god, I messed up big time, guys. I messed up big time. So, yep. Um, Pray for me, though. Maybe something good will happen. I doubt it because at this point, there's really nothing much anybody can really do for me. Um, unless a miracle happens, but like they said, they doubt it because... You have to have a really good reason in order for them to waive the class for me. And I really don't have a good reason besides the fact that I really did not know. It's not even... It's an excuse, but it's not because... It's an excuse because I should have known better. But it's not an excuse because I really did not know. So, if I didn't know, then what am I... I can't do anything about it because I didn't know. So, anyways, I will update you guys on this process. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that obviously it bothered me a lot. And I was really upset about it that to the point where, like, I don't even want to go to school anymore. Because I'm just so, like, upset. Um, and I'm so really mad at myself because I don't know how I could make such a stupid mistake that's going to keep me back from going to a four-year college. And it just really sucks because now I have to wait and, you know... Some of my friends are already going to four-year colleges and I'm still at the same place. Like, you know, like, it just really slowed me down. But anyways, I was speaking to my mom about it and, you know, I, I'm like really, I'm like not even a positive person to be honest. I'm kind of negative and I try to be more positive. I really do try because, you know, if I believe in, if you bring, if you think positive thoughts, you will bring positive activities and vice versa, so I'm going to try to be more positive, but I was speaking to my mom about, the, 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 my mom about it, and she was saying how, since I'm not working right now, it would be a good time for me to, you know, kind of take a break from school, besides that one class, obviously, I'm going to take it, um, yeah, just take that one class next fall, and then get a job, so it's kind of like, I don't know if that's like full-time, yeah, it might be full-time. Full-time job, and yeah, just get a job, make some money, and then chill out for a little bit, and go to the four-year college as planned. And honestly, you know, things happen for a reason, so maybe I wasn't ready to go to a four-year college. Like, 
I don't know, like, I always just really believe in what God's giving me. So, if it wasn't meant to be, then it wasn't meant to be. It's really nothing that I can be so upset about, even though I was. But now that I think about it, there's nothing I can do. Because if there was, I would have done it. So, there's nothing I can do. I can't be so worked up about it anymore because I was already. So, yeah. now I'm just going to be more positive and stay on the grind and do what I have to do to be on my way. <laughs> Good night, guys. situation right now. I, I can't clean it up right now because, oh my god, especially right there. I can't clean it up right now because I have to study and I just really can't dedicate my time. Oh my god, check out my closet, by the way. Whoa, oh my gosh. Sounds to get organized, but I have to do that tomorrow. So I'm just going to stick with it for another day. Hey you guys, so supposedly on Sundays we go out with my dad and my mom, but the thing is my dad had to work overtime so he's going to take another day shift, which is today, and my mom, she's sleeping and she's probably going to be sleeping the whole day because she's really, really tired. So yeah, me and Chrissy are going to go out because we didn't go out yesterday, so yeah, and it's really nice outside today, but it's really cold too, so... I will probably see you guys when I get to Target. I don't really promise that because we usually have no time. But maybe today I will make an exception. So we'll see you guys later. What's up guys? So there's really no one at the station right now because the train, train just, just left, left us. So yeah. Left you, not me. Awoba. Yep, and we're gonna... Let me just take... Oh my god, my... Oh my god, it's like hurting my eyes a lot. 